So this is Dominus Estate Red 2017 from Napa Valley. Very iconic wine made by Christian Muex of the Muex family, owners of Chateau Petrus, among other properties in Bordeaux. Um, Christian actually went to UC Davis back in the late 60s, so I got a really good taste of California and a real love of Napa Valley. So when the um, historic Napanook estate came up for sale, he grabbed it, and uh, <laughs> the rest is history, as they say. Um, this is a impeccably cared for property, um, all dry farmed, uh, from the careful cane pruning to the weed removal that allows the roots to go deep, get their water, uh, cluster thinning, careful hand harvesting of everything. All the grapes are hand uh, sorted in the winery. And then of course, optical, leaves the optical sorter as well. Every lot is vinified separately. Um, they use a vertical press, which just gives much less uh, pressure on the grapes, retains the uh, more supple tannins. Um, anyway, well, <laughs> what I'm trying to get across is, you know, this is one of the most carefully cultivated and produced wines um, in the world. It's this 2017 is a blend of 88 percent. Cabernet Sauvignon, 7% Cabernet Franc, and 5% Petit Verdot. The wine is aged in all French oak barrels, of course. Getting really nice aromas off this. Blackberries, black cherry, a little bit of a blueberry note, a little bit of like a gravel dust. Definitely some black currants in there, like a cassis note. You know, any of the oak notes seem really well integrated. Come across as just a little hint of like a, like a lead pencil. See your graphite. Let's try it. Really big, really mouth filling, but on the whole, it's, it just seems so beautifully integrated, and it's 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 almost like silky. Except those tannins are really, <laughs> really rich. Um, nicely polished, but think of a real chewiness to this wine. Um, blueberries, blackberry. Black currants, black cherry. I get that, that sort of a mineral note, the cedar note, a little smokiness under there. Good balance of acidity um, because it's uh, sort of a little bit mouthwatering on the finish, so you really kind of get those flavors that play out over the palate, linger on the finish. Um, obviously, uh, intensely concentrated, a wine that's going to age beautifully over uh, many years. Um, you know, but it's <laughs> it's remarkable how uh, a big, bold wine like this can be so attractive in, in its youth. <laughs> um, yeah, let this aerate for a little while, it's going to drink beautifully. But uh, don't forget to let some age carefully in your cellar. Have you drinking? <laughs>